In this tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate precision, recall, and F1 score from confusion matrix. In MATLAB, we use confusion math function to generate a confusion matrix. This confusion math requires two arguments. The first argument is the actual value, and the second argument is the predicted value. Now we are going to use random integer function to generate random integer from 0 to 2. We are going to generate 100 integers and we want them in a single column. That's why I put 1 here. Hit enter and we can see there are 100 random integers from 0 to 2. Now copy it, scroll down, and declare a variable named actual. Then assign it to this variable. Declare another variable named predicted, and do the same. Now this actual and predicted variables are no longer undefined. These are stored in our workspace. If we run this program, then we will get the confusion matrix. In order to calculate the precision, recall, and F1 score, we need to transpose this confusion matrix. Take a variable named CMT, and transpose the confusion matrix. Run it. This is our transposed confusion matrix. In order to calculate the precision, we need to get these diagonal values. Take a variable named diagonal and then use the diag function. The argument of this diag function is the transposed confusion matrix. Run it. We can see we have got the diagonal values here 11, 9, and 18. The next thing we need to calculate the precision is the sum of these rows. Take a variable named sum of rows, then use the sum function. The first argument of this function is the transposed confusion matrix. Second argument is 2. We are using 2 here so that we get the sum of the rows. Run it. Type CMT and hit enter so that we can see the transposed confusion matrix and sum of rows values at the same time. Here we have 11, 10, and 13. The sum is 34. On the second row we have 14, 9, and 9. The sum is 32. In the last row, we have 11, 5, and 18. The sum is 34. Now, if we perform piecewise division in between this diagonal and sum of rows, then we will get the precision. Run it. These are the precision values. We can calculate the overall precision using the mean function. And the argument of this mean function is going to be the precision. So this is our overall precision. In order to calculate the recall, we need to get this sum of columns value. And we're going to use the same approach. Use the sum function. The argument is going to be the CMT. This time, instead of 2, we will use 1. So that we can get the sum of the columns. Run it. These are the sum of the column. Type CMT and hit enter so that we can see the transposed confusion matrix and the sum of the column at the same time. 
On the first column, we have 11, 14, and 11. It gives us 36. On the second column, we have 10, 9, and 5. It gives us 24. On the third column, we have 13, 9, and 18. It gives us 40. Now, if we perform piecewise division in between this diagonal and the transpose of sum of columns, it will give us the recall. Run it. These are the recall values. We can calculate the overall recall using the mean function and the argument will be this recall. So this is the overall recall. The last thing we want to calculate is the F1 score. Multiply this overall precision with overall recall then divide it with the summation of overall precision and overall recall and finally multiply it with 2 and it will give us the F1 score. I'm going to clear the command window and run the program so that we can get all of the values from the beginning. This is our transposed confusion matrix. These are the diagonal values. These are the sum of rows. These are the precision. This is the overall precision. These are the sum of columns. These are the recalls. This is the overall recall. And this is the overall F1 score value. And this is how you can calculate the recall, precision, and F1 score in MATLAB.